Hi, I'm Ken Minai, marketing engineer for ENA Option TDR in CTD Kobe. What I'm going to describe today is USB 3.1 cable connector compliance test. Before talking about that, let me quickly introduce the E5071C ENA Option TDR. The ENA is basically a vector network analyzer to make S parameter measurement such as S11, S21 in the frequency domain. Based on this platform, we added a function called TDR, Time Domain Reflect Method, to perform the time domain analysis. So, the ENA with option TDR can make both frequency domain measurements and time domain analysis uh, very fast and accurately as a one-box solution. Now, let's take a look at what the major differences are between the current USB 3.0 and the upcoming USB 3.1. Here's the USB cable connector measurement setup. The black one is the USB cable connector and this is the test fixture. Please note that the DUT is the current USB 3.0, not 3.1. And when looking through the latest test specification of the USB 3.1, the traditional measurements such as impedance, um, propagation delay, skew in the time domain, and uh, insertion loss, uh, common mode differential to common mode uh, conversion, these are almost the same as those for the current USB 3.0, except for the test frequency range or the rise time, and also the test limits to meet the 10 Gbps high-speed data rate requirements. On the other hand, there are two newly added measurement approaches for the USB 3.1, uh, channel metrics and cable shading effectiveness. Now, let me quickly explain these new test items. The basic idea of channel metrics test is similar to the simulated eye, eye diagram. First, insertion loss, near-end crosstalk, and fine crosstalk are measured using the ENA. Then import these files to the compliance st standard tool running on the Windows. This software will then calculate the parameters as insertion loss, integrated multi reflection, and integrated crosstalk to make the final pass-fail judgment. This tool will be provided by USB IF and you can install and run this software on the external PC or ENA. Cable shielding effectiveness is to measure the radio frequency interference from the cable assembly and the coupling factor from differential pairs to the single-ended cable shield. In other words, SSD21 is calculated. To perform this measurement, the special test fixture is required, which is under development by USB IF right now. The test specification is also not yet available. I also want to inform you that the de-embedding technique is now supported by the USB 3.1, in addition to the TRL calibration. So you can choose either de-embedding technique or TRL cal for the calibration. To create the DMB file, the POTS with AFR or automatic fixture removal can be used. Lastly, we recommend either 14 GHz or 20 GHz 4 port ENA for the USB 3.1. Judging from the rise time requirement for the test signal, we recommend 20 GHz option. As for the MOI, method of implementation development. We are currently working on that. We will also look into the USB Type-C connector specification, which was recently released. So please stay tuned. Just like USB 3.1 I mentioned earlier, we will keep supporting the new standards, such as uh, HDMI, PCI Express, Ethernet, and so on. For more detail, please visit ENA Option TDR website. Thank you for watching.